What's up everyone, it's Brady here and this is my official review of the Rise Lifting Belt. So I want to start off by saying that I kind of had a negative experience when getting this belt and I'm going to talk about those in a bit, but there's also a lot of really good things about this belt. So I want to start off by talking about the strengths of the belt because there are actually a lot of them. So the Rise belt comes in two different sizes. It comes in the 11 millimeter and the 13 millimeter. I personally wanted a belt that was going to give me a lot of support and be very, very thick. And uh, I, I kind of did some research and everyone said that the 11 millimeter was going to be plenty thick and I agree completely. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but this is an extremely thick and sturdy belt. I find the 11 millimeters to be completely fine. Honestly, the 13 millimeter would probably be overkill. Uh, I went ahead and got the size large. Relaxed, I have about a 33 inch waist around my belly button area. And so I went ahead and got the large and it fits great. And I have a few extra notches left. Uh, in case I ever get really fat or really skinny. And so the first thing I noticed about this belt is purely the quality and the sturdiness. And like I said, it is a really thick belt and it, it shows, I mean, there's really, it's not as flexible as you would uh, usually see in one of those cheap leather belts. It's a power lifting belt. It's thick and it's sturdy and it's gonna give you plenty of support. Literally, it's the most supportive belt that I've ever used. Another strength about it is I really like the materials. On the outside, it's this nice kind of suede feeling, and all together, I think it's built with uh, really strong leather, and so I really like that. It just adds to the all-around quality of it. Altogether, the quality, I would give a four out of five. The only reason I wouldn't give it a five is because everyone from my research has said that Inzer is a little bit better, and I did notice right out of the package, um, it's kind of fraying a little bit over here. Uh, towards the ends and I don't think that's going to be a, a major problem because it has double stitching But it is a, a tiny little flaw if we're being really picky another strength is it's just really easy to use Once you get it, it you do need a screwdriver to put it to correct sizing But once it's set it's good all you have to do is basically put in uh, these notches right here and pull the lever Really really simple. I like that. So in the strengths all together awesome belt very happy with the product and while I've been using it while squatting I've noticed a complete change especially if you're used to squatting beltless you're seriously gonna throw on some heavy weight right when you get it and be able to do something that you've never thought you could do before so now I want to talk about the weaknesses so this is really frustrating actually because I love the product just getting it was so so annoying I will admit right away I bought it a little bit before Christmas and that kind of the uh, holiday season period of time. I was expecting uh, maybe a short delay, but not as long as it took. So I wanna put things into perspective. My friend purchased a Rise Belt a few days before me, um, around December 18th, roughly, and he got his three days later. So I went on and purchased mine a couple days later. I purchased one day shipping, and altogether it said it would take one to three days to process and then one day shipping, because I paid extra for one day shipping. So at the very most, it should have taken four days. 29 days later, I received my Rise Belt in the mail. So it went from four days max to 29 days to get here. So let's talk about why that happened. First of all, I ordered a blue Rise Belt. I got the khaki. I ordered the blue and after emailing them uh, for about three weeks, I found out that they don't have the blue belt in stock and they didn't know when they were going to get the blue one in stock anymore. Then they told me that they had the khaki. So then I changed orders to the khaki. Well, I found that really annoying because why didn't they just say on the website that they don't have any blue left? They could have simply put out of stock, but no, instead they just confuse all their customers. So then you end up buying a belt and not getting it for a month or two. This brings up the other annoying part. There's no phone number you can call for Rise. You have to do everything through email. So I emailed them and it takes about four days to get an email back. And so I would have to email them, wait four days, get a reply, email them again, wait four days, get a reply. This went on for a while. Eventually I was able to change my order to the khaki one and then they said it was shipped and the one day shipping did not work. It took about four days, I think, which I mean, isn't that big of a deal, but I did pay extra for one day shipping. So I expected it to take one day and it took four days and you kind of get what I mean. 29 days later, I got a khaki rise belt 
I was quite annoyed with this. I emailed them and I was like, hey, so it, this took about, you know, three, over three weeks longer than I thought. What can you do to help me out? And they said, oh, we'll give you 20% off your next order. Well, you know, that's kind of nice of them, except if you know any of their sponsored athletes, their little promo code, you already get 15% off. So I used Mark Fitz promo code and I got this for 15% off. And then I get terrible service and they're like, oh, we'll give you 20% off. Maybe I'm just being super picky, but I was just kind of annoyed with the process. It's all over now and I got no bad rep with, with Rise. The product's great, it just took frickin' forever. On the bright side, I did almost get an Inzer belt until I found out that those take about three months to get. So overall, uh, if you're thinking about getting Rise or Inzer, it depends whether you wanna wait one month or three months. That's the review, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hopefully I answered any questions you guys have. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to you. It's an awesome belt, I'm happy. I finally got it and we're good. Anyway, peace out. See you in the next video.